Now, Murad Aslan is a security analyst and lecturer at Hassan Kalyonju University in Gaziantep. He joins me now in the studio. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. If I can first ask you about this uh, meeting between Jens Stoltenberg and uh, Turkey's Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu. Again, we're hearing more recognition that Turkey's, there is a legitimate threat and that Turkey's uh, concerns are indeed validated. But then there are there so many saying in the same breath that, what, Turkey's not allowed to take action? Well, it depends on. Uh, as you know, this is the second visit of Stoltenberg in Turkey this year. And he's in Turkey as if he's delivering a message in the name of some certain countries. This is the perception of public currently in Turkey. And try to understand why still, why uh, Turkey is you know, conducting an operation in Syria and, you know, letting know the Turkish government about the attitude of the European states who are also a member of NATO. Uh, but there's one thing, what Turkey expects is very important because for the last four decades, Turkey is in heavily countering terrorism and we did not enjoy the support of NATO. Uh, even we did not run the fifth article of the alliance, as you know, because we recognized this issue as a terror act. Uh, so Turkish expectation from NATO is just to tolerate and welcome the acts of Turkey in countering terrorism, and that's it. Uh, but for NATO, I think it's more or less or more than an alliance, but uh, they are expecting a national interest by means of NATO. And this is a kind of humiliating, uh, you know, behavior for Turkey. Uh, let's then look at uh, the kind of global context, if we can, and especially yeah. how this is playing outside uh, of Turkey, particularly in the United States and European media. Uh, basically, Turkey is being portrayed as this kind of invading force that's threatening mm -hmm. peaceful Kurds uh, that wants to occupy Syria somehow. I mean, no one's bothering to explain that these are militias, actually, with, mostly with a Marxist ideology that does not represent a majority uh, of Kurdish people, and that Turkey really has no interest in occupying Syria. That would be far too much mm. of a logistical burden, and contrary to its insistence that it wants the territorial integrity of Syria mm -hmm. maintained. H has Turkey just lost control of the narrative and its message outside of its borders? There are se several reasons for that. The first one is PKK is really skillful to, you know, communicate by means of attractive icons in Europe. Mm. And the second thing, when Obama administration changed their wrath in Syria, you know, rather than supporting Free Syrian Army but PKK, then they also created a psychological warfare mechanism in Syria addressing the whole global public. That's reality. Mm. And Third thing is very important and interesting. For instance, when Trump announced that Turkey will conduct an operation in Syria, the first outlet of the media was a clear and concrete explanation of what was said. But the same person, the same journalist, reported the second you know, outlet by a you know, title like invasion. Mm. So I think it's both a fault of media because they want to have this story an attracting one and also efforts in Europe you know uh, showing the case as a kind of uh, issue for freedom and third the United States had this interest in this issue up until now uh, and was against Turkish purpose so if you combine them yes okay. they had advantage on the ground let me ask you this I mean President Putin has just come out to say that this operation in Syria threatens to revive ISIS. Do, do you think that's true? I mean, that's definitely not in Turkey's interest then, yeah. if, uh, if this is what... Yeah. Okay, the common, common understanding of both the United States and Russia is currently ISIS, as you know. Mm. Because both actors in Syria uh, is concerned for the security of their own troops first, second, having the ground to slide to another actor and finally uh, they use it as an apparatus because ISIS is also a kind of legitimization or a justification uh, tool for both the United States and Russia to 
you know, guarantee their presence in Syria. Mm. On the other hand, the issue is such that simple. If these prisons are protected by both the U.S. troops and PKK affiliated units, then they can easily hand over the responsibility to Turkey as far as PKK units uh, withdraw from the area because they will be under the U.S. control up until then. Okay. Murat Aslan, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much Thank you. for coming in.